All right, YouTube, I'm back again, uh, 205 Bowties. Um, so I am about to install the cam, uh, the Truck Norris cam in my Gen 3 LM7. Um, <clears throat> this is my first time, so uh, we're going to wing it all together. Um, all right, so here we go. Uh, I'll go over the parts and everything that I've got right now. So I've got, uh, obviously i got my cam, I've got my thrust plate, I've got my timing gear, uh, I've got uh, bolts for my timing gear, and bolts for my uh, thrust plate. Uh, I'm going to use the Permatex Ultra Slick to uh, put everything together, and uh, well, let's get started. I guess we'll get the cam opened up and... Uh, kind of go through the cam real quick and get it all slicked up before we get started here. Let's do that. All right, so I haven't opened this thing up yet. I don't really know where my specs are. There's my specs for the Truck Norris uh, BTR Brian Tooley. All right, I am. I think I'm going to leave it in the package and uh, carefully, carefully cut the package open so that way I can lube it up in there, kind of roll it in the plastic. Let's see. Start back here. Just cut the top of this thing off of here. I'm be careful you don't nick the cam at all. Don't think it would hurt it, but... Better safe than sorry at the moment. So there's our cam there. That's nice and pretty. I hadn't opened it up yet, so this is the first time I've opened it up. I'll give you all a, a rundown on it. So that's the, the famous Truck Norris cam right here. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, well, let's get it. Uh, let's get it slicked up here. All right. So I'm just gonna get crazy and kind of slick it up, run down it. That ultra slick goes a long ways with these. Clean gloves, brand new clean gloves. Just opened the package with it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that stuff's nice and thick. All right, I'll roll it a little bit. That's why I wanted to keep it in the package. I knew I was going to be kind of rolling it a little bit. Keep it lubed up. Roll it a little bit more. I'll go one more pass down the back. Don't, can't hurt too much. This stuff's not that expensive neither, so. Better, better to use more than not enough. That's what I've always been told, so. It's what I'm definitely going to go with. This stuff is very slick. It's very sticky, tacky. So I'm just going to do the time, uh, uh, the uh, cam and timing gear today. I've got to go to work tonight, actually. So get that that full time job sucks, but is what it is. I'm gonna put a little bit on the uh, the thrust side of the cam also, since uh, we're putting the thrust plate on also. Now I'm going to put some fresh gloves on again and lube up the inside of these uh, cam bearings. So I'll just do a little bit on the tips of my fingers. Cam's already pretty well lubed up, so this is just a, I guess, a precautionary. So that one's good. A bit hard to get down in there too. So I'm keep on 
I'll get one down. So I got two of them done, so that's the third one. Fourth one. And the fifth one. So I have already cleaned all these. I did a, did a final wash on the whole block, um, which I'll post also. Um, it wasn't bad dirty. I just, the machine shop, machine shop did a fabulous job at cleaning this thing up you should obviously you should have seen it before but uh i'll post those too when i did the tear down i think this motor had 300 and or 200 and uh it definitely didn't change the oil like they should have but yeah that's what it is well uh, i'm gonna go grab the can and we'll start guiding this thing in here all right, and you'll know, you'll know what side's the front. You got that, that point right there, that pin for the uh, cam sprocket. So let's get started. Going in as easy and parallel as possible. Kind of hard not to, definitely hard not to bang it around a little bit. But all right, so I got two in. I'm gonna change camera angle and I'm also going to change the way I got my hands so I'm going to reach in from the inside now and kind of guide it in Put my finger in the center of the cam let's see I can put it right through oh yeah reach all the way through with it You gotta be careful not to push it too far because it can go all the way through. So that's it now. Installed. So it can go all the way through to the back of the motor because it doesn't have the, the uh, rear plate on it. Gloves, clean my hands up. And uh, we'll be back with the cam thrust plate. Alright. Look at the angle changed again uh, so I have already lubed up the thrust plate um, mating surface on the cam so now I am going to get the thrust plate and we'll stick that on there and go ahead and torque it down we'll do a final torque on it all right so this is a brand new uh, just OEM GM cam thrust plate it's got the brand new gasket on it so we'll uh, stick that bad boy on there Stick some bolts in. And the uh, torque spec on this is 18 foot pounds. So we'll, uh, we'll go slowly, kind of go around slowly and get it torqued to 18 foot pounds. Kind of seems like it's sitting perfect. These are uh, uh, 13 millimeters, so I've got the torque wrench on and set at 18 foot pounds. So this is a big torque wrench, so I need to be careful not to go all the way. Kind of just going around getting them all kind of tight right now. Not really I'm gonna torque them down just yet. Oh, that was close. All right, eighteen. Yeah, 
Eighteen. 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 Perfect. All right. We'll uh, we'll set the cam gear on it for now. Um, I'm not gonna tighten anything. I'm just gonna kind of set it up there. Fits on there. Perfect. I'll put some bolts in. Uh, these are the 10 millimeter um, ARP cam bolts. So we've got that tightened, just hand tight. I'm not gonna do, I might just put the socket on there by hand. That way nothing spins easy. All right, let's do the uh, moment of truth here. We are going to spin it. Let's see how easy this spins. Spins nice, spins easy. No dragon. Looks nice in there. I can't wait. Can't wait to hear this thing start up one day. All right. I guess that's kind of where I'm going to stop today. I've got to uh, get ready to do this full-time job thing. So, all right. Catch you on the next video.